in it. Well, well, well. You come to know I'm a sucker for the on-field antics at round six of the NRL competition provided that and then some. So in the St. George Illawarra vs Newcastle Knights game, Tyson Frizzell copped a bit of his own medicine as karma eventually made its way back around and old mate was not happy about it one bit. Somebody went flying alright as Tyson Frizzell's reaction to this had me in stitches but what was even funnier was Lomax's face right before getting Hulk smashed. That right there is the face of a man in distress. <laughs> Play on sir, if you're gonna carry on like that after scoring a try, don't expect the defending team to just hang their heads and walk away. Frizzell just got done sending the ball into the front row after being bamboozled by the bounce. So you can see why he reacted the way he did. Um, another reaction to this particular incident came after full time actually. Uh, the big boy, David Klimmer, was seen having a bit of a chat or more like a stern talking to. Usually after the whistle's blown, it's GG's. But uh, clearly, Klimmer had something to get off his chest. As for what was said, who knows? Maybe it had something to do with the piggyback joyride. Or maybe he was just reminding Zach that he needed a fourth for his Warzone squad later tonight. There were a couple of other interesting stories to come out this past weekend. One involving the chin, I mean the face of the NRL. Nathan Cleary who got himself uh, entangled or got himself in a bit of a sticky situation whilst making a tackle on Billy Walters. Man that was bad and can I just say Billy Walters is super lucky. They're both lucky actually but Walters in particular was lucky that Nathan didn't tear his knee apart. That tackle made me cringe while watching it. Now there was a bit of development with that, uh, Cleary did get charged and he actually only got fined which I'm actually okay with if I'm being honest. Uh, the tackle isn't classified as a hip drop. To me it was really just an awkward grapple tackle which is a part of the modern game. Everyone wrestles. There's just some certain techniques that should be monitored closely. In Cleary's case it's, it's the poor technique. Anything involving the legs and manipulating body weight uh, you're treading a thin line. Like I said, Walters should be counting his lucky stars because that could have ended badly. And I can't help but wonder if Cleary did actually do some major damage to Walters, would he have still gotten just a fine? It shouldn't matter because I don't think Cleary did anything illegal, but they can use this to snap that type of tackle out of the game. What do you reckon? Fair or unfair that Cleary won't be spending time on the sidelines for that? And lastly, we've got a couple of quick hits. First of all, Semi Rajradra is supposedly on his way out of Bristol. Many people are speculating that an NRL return is on the horizon for Semi. And with the Rugby World Cup coming up next year, we could most likely expect them back in the league in 2024. That's what I think at least. And finally, the Newcastle Knights have pulled their offer from Kalen Ponga. Allegedly is what I should say, but it's looking more and more likely that the Redcliffe Dolphins will sign Kalen Ponga. And so that about wraps up this episode of Odd Takes. Uh, I'll be doing these every single Monday now. Maybe even on the weekend depending on what happens or if anything interesting happens. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the IRL content as it is a breath of fresh air for me to make. For tomorrow's upload, we're back with the Dolphins running amok. And as always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general, be sure to run and share that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God.